We got it, Andre. We got it. The big ember, the very large one, the one I've needed. And we're going to go ahead and we're not going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to plus 10 to plus 11. So long awaited. And then we're going to reinforce it once, twice. Oh, we got just enough. Three times and the slab. Plus 15. Which isn't just chance that I got that I picked up. They give you, throughout this playthrough, just playing mostly regularly, checking things here and there. You're going to have enough equipment to get a... a you're going to have enough supplies and... Um, what's the term I'm looking for? Resources to get up to a plus 15. Just by playing through the game for the most part. As long as you don't blatantly miss anything. Which gets us our glorious... Plus 15 broken straight sword, which... Has to, yeah, this game, it's got to be so much better. It's I'll, I'll give it a test, but it's got to be better, right? How could it not be, right? A plus 15 broken straight sword. No player has ever in their right mind practically upgraded a broken straight sword to plus 15. I assume, again, someone's done it for, like, research purposes, for logging information. But no one's been like, oh, yes, the plus 15 broken straight sword. I've needed this. And we have needed it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I have I have confidence I can barely complete this playthrough doing minimum damage now. Because there was going to be that cutoff at some point. We can go ahead and test this out over here. Because now that we've gotten to Vamos, who I'll... I, again, when I get enough supplies, I will go back and I'll upgrade my flame weapons and chaos weapons over at Vamos. And I'll head back to the uh, blacksmith in New Orlando and upgrade my magic and enchanted stuff high enough. We'll get that all squared away later. I'll probably do it off camera because I'm going to need a few more souls. But I did forget one other thing I wanted to grab here that I actually... I forgot I grabbed earlier. And again, because I was watching a German spy's playthrough, he grabbed and I forgot the set was in here. Okay, let's test this out really quick. Was that a 29? Really? Hmm, okay. Well, still. Still holds. It's a plus 15. Those guys are pretty resilient to... Oh, yeah. Well, okay. It's not It's not massive difference, but it's a difference. And I'm thinking with the buff on, on an enemy that isn't so resilient, because actually I'm pretty sure the uh, snake guys here are really resilient to uh, melee attacks. Still, still it's good damage. See that critical? Not bad. I, again, I think these guys are pretty resilient. Still, it's, it doesn't. I'm not downplaying this. It's a plus 15 broken straight sword. It's as good as it's gonna get. It's not gonna get better than this. So yeah, I better get used to it. Yeah. Wonder if Sigmar is still. He's still there. <laughs> well, coming back through Sense Fortress, Sigmar is still here. So I guess we'll complete his dialogue now. <laughs> we, hey Sigmar, we were up there. We got the Lord Vessel. Well, I guess I just forgot to complete his dialogue here. It's funny how I wonder how long he will stay here. And I don't think I've ever had you drop down on me before. So we're we're all experiencing new things here. So because of the last time I was here, I made the decision to walk out that way. Which, it's always 50-50 which way I decide to go here. I didn't make the decision to go this way and come back. Which is probably intended way they have you come, uh, ideally, to get the Black Sorcerer set, which I actually am a big fan of, and Hush, which I, for the longest time, I thought was a spell, and then I thought maybe it wasn't a spell. It is a spell. Hush would have been a good spell to get a lot earlier before we got the ring. The ring is arguably more useful, depending on your build. It all depends on your build, of course, what you have where. But uh, Hush is a pretty good spell, and probably would have been really nice for me to have to pair with Hidden Body a lot long ago. A lot longer ago? Regardless, I got the Black Sorcerer set, which is a set I like a lot. And we got Hush, so we're all set there. I just didn't want to uh, miss something that would have been useful earlier, but still has the potential to have use before this run is over. Hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, hello to you too. Good to see you. Sure. You know, I really don't know how to fight rapiers, and there aren't that many rape... Don't oh, okay. I see. Oh, nope. That's not my... Uh, so I've made a mistake. This isn't fair. Wait. Wait. Okay. We're gonna... Yeah. Okay. I That went a lot better in my head when I uh, 
warped here. I expected her to be here, but I wanted to put my catalyst back in my other hand so I could buff and she could buff and it could be fair. But I guess we're not doing that. Oh, look at that. Why didn't I get that backstab? There we go. Come on. I should have just done it immediately. She can do a lot of damage with that. Oh my god. Let's not die. Thank god for the flip ring. I really underestimate how good it is, especially against an NPC like this. Uh, no, here we go for the parry. Okay. Yeah, I can't parry rapiers. Couldn't parry Ricard particularly well. Can't parry her. And she's got a parrying dagger, and I don't, I don't like the way she's holding it. It almost looks like she might try to parry me. I actually don't really know the parrying dagger stance. So I'm not... There we go. Sure. Oh, that wasn't a parry? Yikes. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to even think right now. Is there any other enemy in the game that uses a rapier? Human-based enemy. Because I can't think of one. Wow, that's like knocking her over. Give me that backstab. You know, there was a time and a place where I didn't want to do backstabs or be abusive in any way. But when I play strictly fair this is what happens to me especially in a playthrough like this where I'm already at a severe disadvantage so we're gonna go ahead and take full advantage of anything I can do from this point forward all, all bets are off because the game just gets harder for here since I have pretty much decided firekeeper's soul which we can go we should put that to use right now yeah I'm gonna put that to use real quick because that'll be useful but I can't use that bonfire because I just did that so we can just warp right back no problem because I have officially decided, da 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 da, I know so many people were asking for it, no one asked for it. I'm going to definitely do the DLC now. Where did I put my homeward bones? What am I doing with my life? I did have, no. But yeah, well I've decided, you know what, we're already this far into a playthrough like this, I'm definitely going to do the DLC. It's not necessary to do, and it's going to take a good chunk of my time, especially off camera. I can imagine there are some, every single one of the bosses in the DLC is scary to me. Even the second you get in, you got to fight the Sanctuary Guardian, who I consider to be... A very difficult boss. Beautiful. Plus four. So, between him, Manus, and Calamite, I'm I'm worried. But by the time I get there, I'm going to do... I've decided I'm going to do the DLC after I've killed all the Lord bosses, but before I do Gwent. So, by the time I get there, hopefully I will be in a much stronger position to take them on effectively. And while we're over here, I, I didn't actually mention it yet, but I did some grinding off screen. You might be able to tell from my souls and maybe some of my equipment that might show up. I didn't do anything too crazy, although I did pick out my new outfit, which uh, I think looks pretty good. I wasn't exactly going. I like. I sometimes like the bloodstained skirt more than this. That kind of I can't. I can never decide whether I like the bloodstained skirt this more. I think it honestly looks better. It looks like a whole matching set. I think the uh, the gold hem probably has better stats, but you know what? I fashion. It's all about fashion. I had a build that looked a lot like this at one point and used a uh, scythe. Looked pretty good. But uh, I thought this would be pretty appropriate, especially for where we're about to be headed. But on our way over there, I thought we'd stop here and I would go ahead and I'll join up with the... Arguably one of the worst covenants in the game. <laughs> it's like not a great covenant. The only time I've actually ever been in this covenant seriously was when I was playing a small and orange thing with Dusty. We figured it was pretty appropriate. But this will also give us the Ring of the Sun's Princess, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's been so long since I've rejoined the Covenant. Because ranking up this Covenant doesn't get you anything, but it allows you to use miracles that you find later in the game, which are actually really good healing miracles. Uh, but this ring, I'm actually trying to remember because I can't quite remember off the top of my head because I don't normally get this ring. Yeah, it boosts Synergy of Miracles, and I'm, I'm entire, not entirely sure what that means off the top of my head. But I don't think I'm going to want it. I'll actually look into it because I'm not sure. But I don't think I want it for the ring's use. What I actually want it for is to trade to Snuggly. I can't think off the top of my head because I did this a little while ago. But I did do some trading with Snuggly off camera. I didn't trade anything in particularly special. But I think the ring of the sun's princess or princess sun princess ring. The princess ring. that The one I just got. It gives us, when traded to Snuggly, it gives us something pretty good. I can't remember exactly what it gives us. I know I didn't trade the uh, Skull Lantern because I still need it for a Ring of Fog, which in hindsight, a Ring of Fog would be really, really good for me. I have a Hidden Body, which has been proven to be helpful in very unique situations, but it would be... It would have been a good idea a lot sooner to try and pick that up. That might have been a better idea to try and go get that sooner. But what's done is done. We've already made it, so I've proven I don't actually need it. Uh, and there's a few other small things I could have gotten from Snuggly, but the Ring of the Sun Princess definitely got me something. I just can't remember what. I had the whole list in front of me of what Snuggly can get me, but I didn't uh, 
commit it to memory too well. I just traded a few things, mostly for Titanite. Later, we're going to have to go back and uh, I think I can trade my Pyromancy Flame for uh, a Titanite Slab. I might think about doing that because I'm going to need one if I don't uh, get what I want. I think I might need two, but I may only need one. Do I need to lower this? I don't need to lower this, so we're good right where we are. But finally, after all that grinding, we're getting into one of my favorite... I think it is. It's my favorite place in the entire game. Uh, overall, and also for very specific reasons. It's such a good spot. Great for invading. Great for co-op. Not a bad boss. Great enemies in the area. And overall, just probably the best design area in all of Dark Souls. Also, that's good. That's like the most badass way to enter in any place, right? Just start putting your hand on a painting and then all of a sudden, just you're being sucked in. It's like Mario 64, but if Mario 64 was horrible. Imagine if Mario got sucked into the paintings like that every time he, instead of jumping in like, wahoo, so happy, he just gets sucked in like, oh god, oh god, no, please, this painting is eating me. I guess that's sort of like Ghostbusters 2 a little bit. It's been a long time since I've seen Ghostbusters 2. I should probably watch that again. Ah, oh, the painting world. Such a fantastic area. Like that. And sit down with this. Because I also forget it, we're going to need more souls later, but I want to level up now because I'm getting ever so much closer to oh we're so close five more levels and we can use sunlight blade five more levels and i'll be doing excellent damage so let's buff real quick before i forget i should probably have brought another buff instead of ah why did okay well we'll just uh cut that out of editing and then we'll see that yeah i'm really liking my uh nope that was close that was close though it's sad that i can't kill a hollow in one shot without the hornet's ring on with a backstab oh come on that might be one of the cheapest attacks in the game. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call a do-over. I'm going to put away... Uh, I can get overwhelmed here so quickly. Well, no, I think I just could use more buffs because it's going to be a while before I get around. Even though I could just run to open the door. Decisions, decisions. Here I was just saying three should be enough. But, well, we'll, we'll go with this for now. Don't do that. Do that. But yeah, I think that's all I did off screen. I did... A lot of grinding. The most grinding I've done all playthrough. And I didn't want to make this too much of a grindy... I'm holding the block button. It's just not working. I swear, anytime you see me where it looks like... Oh, why wasn't he blocking there? I am. I promise I'm holding it. It just doesn't work. I almost just died to hollows. Let's not die to hollows. Not at the, right at the beginning, huh? Okay, because I... I, It's just not good. Actually, I think because I'm up to date in editing, I'm pretty sure I'm at exactly 100 deaths. So, I'm not going to die the rest of the playthrough. Ha ha ha. If only that were true. I, I hit 100 a lot quicker than I thought I would, but at the same time, if I if I had done, if I had been a lot less... There it is. Okay, cool. Well, I got all the broken straight sword I'm going to need for the playthrough, because that broken straight sword will become a crystal, and I forgot I needed... I thought I needed some other type of ascension material, but I just need uh, chunks for crystal and lightning, which I guess is weird. You think there'd be, like, yellow uh, titanite chunks or something in the game, but as eh, is fine. I'm not, I'm not really complaining. And the crystal one, honestly, it's going to be between... I'm most interested to see what's going to be better. The Well, I think the Chaos is going to turn out to be the best broken straight sword for me, depending on how much humanity I have. But I think I'll find the crystal broken straight sword will be useful, too. Wow, I promise I know how to fight Hollows. I just spent... I, like, I'm not kidding. I just spent, like, the last two hours fighting Dark Wraiths, and I got just about every kind of drop, including a slab, which is super rare. But I'm dying to Hollows uh, all too quickly. Which is, uh, not good. But yeah, that's all the off-screen stuff I think I have to do for quite a while. If, if ever again, I might need to, depending on how the DLC goes, depending on if I need anything else. But for the most part, I think I'm all set, and I'll get the... The materials are the real issue. If I really need souls, I'll grind for souls, but it's the materials for getting the rest of these upgrades. Which was not something I was planning on when going into this playthrough. But... It just kind of ended up being like a, a secondary thing I decided to get. And I should have Moss on Hot Equip here. Because I'm not sure I can roll away from that in time. Oh, I can, but I still should put Moss on Hot Equip. Because I it's two areas in the game you need Moss, and every time I go to them, I don't put it on, and I regret it every time. So let's not regret it this time. Because I'm liking my, my setup at the moment is pretty good. The the plus 15 break short, break short, the plus 15 broken straight sword. It's it's doing the best for me. Oh, I should probably put on. No, I got the Balder shield on because it was I needed it for the dark wraith. There was no no way anything else was working against them except a a solid shield. But 
The grass crest shield is good too, and I've got a couple other shields in my inventory, but I'm probably not even going to bother using them. This is, I like the setup right now. I'm just pretty happy with the way it looks, with the way it feels, especially with the ring, although, you know, he's dumb. I know better than to do that. But I might need to uh, swap out here and there, depending on my situation. But God, I just, I love this area. It's the right size. It's the right atmosphere, which is something that shouldn't be uh, flaunted, forgot about. I'm not sure if flaunted is the correct use of that word in that situation or to how I mean it to feel. But it's, if it's just, uh, you shouldn't neglect the feel of an area. Because nowhere else in Dark Souls, maybe the Asylum kind of has this feel, and they, which there are some parallels between here and the Asylum, which is to be noted when I'm talking about this area because you take an area which people complain about, like Lost Islet, and they complain about it. What am I doing? Ugh. They complain about it for good reason because it feels unfinished, and it's because it was. The devs have admitted it was a unfinished area. It got rushed. It didn't quite get finished. They didn't. They didn't get to flush it out as much as they wanted to. This is where I wanted Karmic Justice because these guys are scary. Scary harpies. I said the worm. Okay, I said the worm, but harpies and the bone wheels down below. Also pretty good contenders for worst enemies in the game. <laughs> Terrifying. And when these guys grab you, it's not cool. Not cool at all. And I'm not doing great damage. I'm not knocking them back like I need to. Oh, yeah, see, oh no. It's scary, it's super scary. Eh. Oh, oh, come on, so cheap. Uh, I should have been more ready for that. What is that, Death 101? It's probably Death 101 or 102. Well, we've passed 100. Here's to the next 100, I guess. 